Okay. So now here, again, I'm going to adjust my circle. Uh, maybe one more time. And then I'm going to, uh, okay, so I'm going to make a spline. Okay, so this is the spline here. So I'll click on spline. And then the command window says start the spline. So now I'm going to activate e snap and e, e track. So I'm going to start from here. So I'm going to start from here. And then one point, two point, three point, maybe I'll make it four. There. And I'll hit enter three times. One, two, three. Now because I've got points, now I can edit those points. Okay. It's best when you're editing the points, just turn off the E snap and E track so that you can move your your grips freely. Okay, so I'm just gonna make that intersect there. Okay, so I think I think that's good. Okay, so now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to weld this too, but I'm just going to fix some of this one here. So I'm going to go back to my E snap and E track and snap it over to the intersection. There. Escape. I'm going to use my mirror tool here, or before doing that, I'm going to trim this part here. So I'm going to go click on my trim tool. Where's my trim tool? It's this one here. And then I'm going to hit enter. So I click on this one because I don't want that. And I don't want that too. And don't want this one. Okay. So that's the only thing I need right now. So now I can delete this, delete that, and then delete this too. I'm going to mirror this one so what I'll do I'll go to my mirror tool here and command line specify what are the objects that I want to mirror so these two objects I hit enter the second point is start point of mirror line which is this one here click and then I'm going to do it like this and command line says or command window says delete the source I say no type in N enter so now I have this object here now now you notice that this one should be trimmed so I'll click on my trim tool and hit enter and then I'm going to trim this two objects here there you go okay so so far I really like the way the way it looks now so now I don't need this line anymore so I'll just delete that okay. now okay what else do we need here I want I want to make this as a block I'll explain the block the block is like clip arts it's like in CorelDRAW it's like clone so if I uh, if I go to draw and then click on block define block so I'm going to define that block okay so I'll we'll put here, I don't know, maybe a rim, right? And then I'll click on apply uniform scale with the same scale and convert to block. Okay. And then I'll click on block ent entities. So what do I want to make a block? So I want this one, this, this, and this, and hit enter. Now, as you notice, the preview is here. I really like the preview because now it shows that that's the block that I want to, I mean, that's the object I want to make a block. And then select a base point. I'm just going to select this base point here. Click. And then click OK. So down that, that's a block now. Okay. So that's a block. Okay. Okay, zoom in here. Okay, I'm just going to zoom out so that we can see how it, how it would do okay so now we're going back to our to our pattern 
So click on pattern and then okay same we want to make it circular the same thing we want 260 degrees feel a lot but instead of 10 i'll make that 10 uh instead of 8 i'll make that 10 there now the access point so i'll click on this and then the access point is the same point so it's the center of this okay and then select entities i'll click on that and make this as the entity hit enter and i'll click on preview there very nice now it made 10 times go around click one more time and then I'm, I'm happy with that kind of pre the preview so I'll just click OK to finalize it there you go now now the purpose that I make it as a block is that the block here if I want to change this let's say I'm not happy with it right and then I want to change the block I don't have to change it 10 times just want to redefine this block and everything will change all the these blocks okay so i click on this one it doesn't matter if this one or this or any 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 of those blocks let's say this one here no no i'll just do it this this one and then right mouse click and click on edit block okay it shows the block that's a block and i click ok I really really like this part this part is really nice because what it does it highlights the block it highlights the block very convenient very convenient okay so now what I'll do I'll put some some highlights here so I'm going to go to my spline tool again but I'm going to make an uh, like a infinite line from here to here it escapes so that's not infinite line because I'm going to mirror it after afterwards so I'm going to go to my spline okay so I've got spline ready and then my start point I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna do that one and then one two points three points four points and then maybe I'm just gonna turn here that's okay just click there and then hit enter three times one two three okay I'm not stuck with that because I can still edit that okay so I'm gonna edit that make it a little bit rounder here and maybe push this a little bit there okay so it's like nodes in curl drill okay let's say I'm happy with that Let's just say I'm happy. I'm gonna turn out the E snap and E track so that so that I can move freely here. Okay. Okay, so now just a little bit of edit here. I just wanna make that round like that. Okay. Okay, so I'm happy with that okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mirror this same thing that I did last time so I I go to my mirror command here and then specify entities or uh, objects to mirror so this one hit enter and then the mirror line is this one here Let's turn on my snap and then I'm just going to go there there so type in no because I don't want to delete the source and there you go very nice okay now watch this one so I'm done editing this block okay I right mouse click and click on close component and watch save changes to component rim before exiting I'll go save watch it's over there now the problem here is that while I was editing I created the infinite line right so that's why the infinite line was also duplicated so don't worry I'm just going to go back to that block right mouse click edit block yes I'm gonna edit that block I'm gonna delete this and then right mouse click again and close component save it there there you go very nice okay so now we're almost almost done here 
so I'm gonna make another circle so click on circle tool and find the center I'm gonna go one here I'm gonna go one more uh, there it snaps again so what I'll do I'm going to zoom in click here zoom in let's say here say like that it's pretty good and uh, zoom zoom to fit there and then I'm going to make another circle from here let's say from here okay now I'm going to trim those so I'm going to click on my trim tool and then hit enter I'm just going to trim this part here so one two three four now take note that this is my first time to to do this and I'm enjoying it very much <laughs> okay so we got this ones here zoom in see how fast it is like if I want to pan I just click on my middle button scroll button very nice very fluid there it's also good to invest with a nice mouse if you want yeah it's it's nice to have a, have a good mouse there and then I think we're almost done here click there and there there and here uh, we got two more here okay okay so we're done like I'm done here in Corel CAD and because my objective really is to is to show how to export how it looks like if I export this one in Corel Corel draw okay. so I go okay here so now so what I'll do now is I'll go to file and I click on export okay export drawing to Corel draw slash Corel designer export so I click on Corel draw and then model this is my model and then the sheet I don't have anything in the sheet so the sheets are like the layout views so I'll just click on model and then click OK here and then I'm going to save it somewhere here in my drawings I'll put here rim it's the rim of the tire click on save and now it's saving to Corel draw very very nice option this is a unique option so if you have Corel draw 4 or I don't know which, which version I think I'm not really sure which version can it export but if you have that this is very convenient okay so now I'm going to go to my Corel draw which is this one here